and welcome back to Sunless Sea. So, we're done with this guy. And we need to talk to... The Admiralty. Well, let's deliver the clay men first. This is where they wanted to be, or at least where they're supposed to be. Ashore, one by one they rise, uncomplainingly, with no trace of stiffness or discomfort from the long voyage. The deck resounds beneath their heavy tread. A shroomyard manager waits on the dock, tapping her foot. About time, she says. Here's your payment. Come along now, you. There's a good construct. Nice, we made some money. That's not bad. Money is good to have. Well, echoes, I should say. Hire on more crew. What are we What are we sitting at? 10 of 15? Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, let's check out the new recruit first. The Irrepressible Cannoneer. It substantially increases irons. Who's our gunnery officer currently? Iron and veils. Well, let's... Let's take her on anyway. We'll see if she's a uh, better fit or not. Engage an officer, the irrepressible cannoneer. Captain, are you looking for a gunner? I'm looking for a ship. Here are my references. Here are more references. Here's my design for a whistling shell. Here's my colleague. He'll stay on shore. Here's my hand. Will you take it? Sure. Welcome aboard. Oh, this is interesting. Room for improvement. There's always room for improvement. Wait, let me make notes. Paper. Okay, <laughs> she's very excitable. Um, hmm. Roser's Wharf. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. He drag a uh, bespectacled visitor will pay to learn moves in the great game. He drags his thumb over his thick mustache and nods. You breathe a step ahead. You breathe against the glass of a display cabinet, and the bespectacled visitor scribbles down the words you trace into the condensation. Candlelight flashes in this dark, in his dark glasses as he tucks the note into his breast pocket. Understood. Thank you. He sits a heavy purse on the cabinet and leaves without another word. Seventy-five's not great, but it's not bad either. Kate to the Admiralty. Uh, sure, let's, uh, submit as fact the Shepherd Isles. We failed. Hmm. Hmm. Candidly, I'm not sure why you saw fit to trouble us with this nonsense. Is there anything else? No, I guess not. We got, we got the fuel, at least. Uh, we'll do pig moat. It's just gonna get us fuel. Mangrove College. Oh, yes, the muddy philosophers do tell. Uh, okay, we got 50 echoes. We got a favor. And we got a fuel. Polythreme. The king with a hundred hearts. What a useful fellow. Without his exports, I'd be delivering my own coal. Uh, we got another favor. We accomplished surveying Polythreme. We got 50 echoes and a fuel. The Empire of Hands. Oh, goodness. What are those accursed monkeys up to now? Don't let the revenue men catch you trading with them. Wild Wild Court. When I started here, it was the Court Eternal. Then the Amaranthine Palace. Then Soul Harbor. Then... I do wish they would make up their blasted minds. The filing is most annoying. Oh, so we got 50 echoes and a fuel. Eistval. I had always wondered if it might be a myth. Um, the wisdom. Brr, did the oracles look hungry? 30 echoes, a fuel, and a favor... King Eater's Castle. Ah, despair's fastness. Uh, so we got another favor. Fuel. Echoes. The Salt Lions. The Bazaar has always taken an interest in that place. And we get more fuel. I don't think we got a favor that time. Quaker's Haven. They were always a funny lot. Probably got their comeuppance. More fuel. Hideaway. A city on a what? And more fuel. Scrimshander. First-hand report from the depths of history, eh? Nothing too candid, I trust. Um, 
So we got another favors for that. And some fuel. Uh... Okay, strategic information. What's that? Indeed! Indeed! I'll send you up directly to speak to the Admiral himself. What's that? Oh, no, that's the same line. Pass on strategic information. Uh, okay. Let's do that. The Admiral sits up, although he steeples his fingers and pretends calm. Invisible eyes. He's hard to read with those glasses, but he reads the su uh, summary intently. Satisfactory, he says at last. Eminently satisfactory, <laughs> actually. Good work. Take this for your trouble. The clerk will see you paid. 150. Okay. And... Speak of moves in the great game. He has you repeat it all twice. He doesn't take notes. It's a little beyond me, he tells you, but I have friends in the palace who will be interested. Very interested. Thank you. Your fee. 30. Okay. Um. Ask if there's anything in particular he needs. Speak to our agents there and return. We'll see that you're rewarded. Port Cecil. Okay, well, we might not be heading there this time, but I'm sure we'll go there eventually. We already submitted all our port reports, yes? Yeah. Um, and anything else? No vital intelligence. Oh, uh, ask what he needs. No, nope, nothing new. Okay, let's return. How's our supplies and such doing? Um... First, let's check our hold. So we have 17 fuel, 3 supplies. We have 5 Sintelec. We have a Shady Sort. Soothing Copper Long Box. So we have to go to the Corsair's Forest for her. Okay. Um. Right. Use or assay? Um. So somebody informed me, a nice person informed me that you can mix some of these things together. Uh, I guess it's this green outline that means you can do something with them. We need a bridge and an auxiliary item. Uh, and I wanted to switch up officers, I think. Six veils, or six iron, three veils, as opposed to eight iron. Well, maybe we'll just talk with her instead. And let's go to the shipyard, perhaps? Or not the shipyard, the shops. Now, fuel. Let's get up to 20. Supplies, let's get up to 10. Now, what do we have left for room in our hold? One. So, do we go with more supplies or more fuel? I think fuel's a little harder to come by. Now... We want... We could sell our Sintelec. It'll make room in the hold. I'm gonna do it for now. Maybe it would have been best to hang on to it uh, for the future, but I think if we could up our supplies, it would be beneficial at this point. Now, we had, what, two things? Auxiliary and bridge. Auxiliary and bridge. We want to find, I think, something to fill both of those spots for the time being. Equips to aft. Uh, that's an engine. These are engines. What is this? Aft as well. Um... So what what could we use? Auxiliary and bridge? What goes in the auxiliary slot? Hmm, I'm not certain. These are for the bridge, right? Yeah, equips to bridge. So maybe we'll acquire a better glim lamp. We're going to have to sell something out of our hold, though. To make room for the time being. Okay, I thought those would... Free us up room, but they didn't. Oops. So, I guess 
Wait. That's the one we have equipped, right? Yeah, we don't want to sell that. Uh, I guess we'll have to sell a supplies or something. And then buy it back, as stupid as that sounds. Uh, okay, we'll sell that. And then... Let's buy the Blazing Glim Lamp. And then equip it. Excellent. Now, we might as well buy one more fuel before we go. Alright, I think we're good to go then. Um, so, on the docket for this trip... There we go is to go down here and explore the couple of places we haven't quite explored. So I think we'll be going past Visage and... I mean, we could go past part Port Carnelian. Oh no, we're going to head this way. Maybe past Pigmode Isle, Port Cecil, Cecil, sorry, and around. Because I think we have to go to Port Cecil anyway. That seems like a good enough course for now. So, our new glim lamp should help. We didn't read exactly what it did, did we? Um, hold on. That's the map, inventory, journal. No, log. No, that's my light. I'm forgetting all the buttons here. Uh, ah, it's G for Gazetteer. Um. Like a line, lane of beams at worth the sea, throw all the circle through all the circle of the golden year. So it gives us plus five mirrors, but minus three veils. Now I think that it also increases our firing solution. I should have repaired the hull. Perhaps. That's okay. We're pretty good. We just won't uh, we won't take any extra risks this time. Pardon me while I check the map again. Um, so we'll hit Pigmode Island first, and until then, we will just sail. I am afraid to go under the Z when I have my hull is at, you know, just over 50%. Well, significantly over 50%, but you know what I mean. Pigmode Isle's a ways off. Do we want to stop at the Salt Lions? I don't think so. And I think when we get to Port Cecil, we'll just head south? We'll see. I don't want to take any big risks. Our captain is doing quite well. We haven't died yet. Oh, I meant to acquire more crew. Hmm. Too late for that, too. Things slipped my mind before we left port. Oh, well. We did get a new glim lamp. I guess we could... Oh, our terror is fairly high. Maybe we don't want to risk running around without our lamp. But that takes less fuel when we do that. So maybe it's advisable. I mean, all we're going to get out of stopping at Pigmode Isle is a port report that'll get us one fuel. But, like I've said before, a fuel is better than nothing for your trip, right? As many of those as you can bring back, the better. Saves you money. Okay, well, I'll take on the jilly floor. And I don't think that would be a contentious decision either, considering how quickly we dealt with them. Uh, sure, let it disperse. We gained a Z story and some fragments. It looks very like flourishing of years, the grand shrine face of visage. Something about the eyes, the sternness of the mouth, perhaps only that it stares at the roof just as flourishing of years does. Now it dissolves. Not bad. Restless Nights.
let's take our, our chances. Inquire about the dreams the next morning. Eyes and a face. We've gained ten terror. We've read this before. Um, and we succeeded. So this must be Pigmoat. Yep. We are just about there. And I'm thinking we've explored most of the Z, and once we've explored almost all of it, I guess we should take out Mr. Sax and, and try our luck there. I think we could get it done now. We know where most of the places at Z are, and he doesn't need to travel to any of the, the ones that we need the Zub for, so... That's something as well. Okay, file report report. I feel bad about Pigmoat Island every time I come here, but nothing I can do. There we go. Sometimes I get few confu <laughs> fused. No, I don't get fused about it. I get confused about uh, which direction is which on the keyboard here. Pretty sure it was Port Cecil we had to go to, or Port Cecil, if you want to pronounce it that way, I guess. Can we get close enough? No. I was wondering if we could get close enough to start reducing our terror before it went up one more. Because when we get close enough to shore, it should turn green, you know, if our light's on, and then it's not going up, which is a good thing. Now, Port Cecil is past these things. Hmm. I'd say we could take on the albino moray. I think it's doable. Okay, here we go. Full speed reverse. Slow him down with shots as often as possible. Oh, what's up? Why can't we shoot? Oh, he went under, I see. I was worried we, like, wrecked our guns or something. There we go. We're starting to defeat lots of the creatures of the Z quite handily. Huh. Okay, well, I guess we'll butcher it. You got a Stygian Ivory, a Hunting Trophy, and an Unprepossessing Mass. Uh, let's... Let's get the supplies out of it. There's Port Cecil, right there. Holy... <laughs> Where did you come from? Okay, well, we'll take on the Bound Shark. I'm willing to do it. Oh, he went under. Get back, get back, get back! He's gonna hit us. He's gonna come up under us? We lost our solution, firing solution. Huh, it's the first time I've had that happen. Okay, well, we didn't take any damage, so... That's something. Uh, yeah, let's use its meat. We have one supplies, a hunting trophy, and an unprepossessing mass. And we lost 45 hunger and gained a terror. Not so bad. We can use supplies for fuel in an emergency, as we've seen before. been a little over a week since I got time to play this, and I'm happy to be back. Uh, chess. Explore the coral knoll. Gather intelligence. Gather scintillac. Well, I guess we'll gather intelligence. So this isn't where we we're supposed to go. Corsair's forest. Oh. Okay, fair enough. Um. A modest challenge. Yeah, okay. We lost. We gained terror. Gained a fragment. Okay, fair enough. We'll try one and that's it. Explore the Coral Knoll. Contact in the Labyrinth. Oh, that's where we were. Right. For the Admiralty, we were coming here. The Admiral gave you directions to take 
to meet your contact left, right, down into the labyrinth of coral outside Port Cecil, over the silvered vein, past the castellations to the unfinished court. Rubbery torment. Here is a rubbery man, one of the squid-faced bipedal things that infest the sadder hovels of fallen London. It looks ill, or infected. The pearly glow of the coral throbs from a seam along its shoulder. Its arm pulses in its fr face fronds. Utherus. It pipes c cheerfully. It hands you a page of notes smeared with tangerine goo. Can the rubbery men write? The hand is elegant and disciplined, timed and dates precisely recorded. Okay. And... Uh, gather Scintillac? Modest challenge. Sure. The best of the coral will fetch a high price in London, but walk the reefs of the principles and you risk delusion and despair. No, maybe we won't bother. Uh, explore the coral. In amber, some disturbance of the undersea has brought sunken ruins up out of the water. These stones were lost beneath more than the sea. They are half encased in a smooth, translucent orange sub substance like amber. Even as you watch the ruins groan and shiver, the convulsions that brought them up will soon take them below again. Examine the ruins. The amber encasing the ancient stones has cracked under the grinding pressure of the earth. You could scramble in and examine them. Of their bones, you squeeze through the fissures in the amber shell to explore the ruins within. The dwellings are low and windowless, thick-walled, flat-roofed, like those in the desert countries. Nothing like anything in the neath. You find shattered pots, glass beads, and bones all mired in amber. Something's wrong with these bones, one of the sailors mutters uneasily. A seasoned woman with a little, little, a little surgeon's training. It's always a woman when, <laughs> when I pick a voice. She's right. The shape of the skull is not precisely human. The arm's bones have splayed out like twigs off a branch. Another exclaims as he finds the bones of a small animal coiled together like the knot of serpents. Shapelings, someone hisses. You think that's what they say, but none of your crew will admit to speaking. There's a rumbling from below. You all scramble desperately for the exits in the chamber casing, or amber casing, squeezing through one by one just in time. The amber snaps shut, and the ruins sink again beneath the waves with a tremendous roar and a show of foam. So we gain some fragments, and that's all for now. Okay, uh, any shops here? There is. Everything's expensive, but uh, beggars can't be choosers. So, we'll refuel and we'll set off. Southerly. Blue lightnings crawl leisurely up the funnel. St. Erasmus dancing, the cry goes up. Yes, so south, and there is an area to explore... It looks very spiky under the water, doesn't it? Spiky indeed. Aphotic quills, yeah, I guess that makes sense. We can't forget to send out our Z-Bat periodically. Now, should we... Should we head this way? And explore this, and then head back? I don't know feel like we should head this way and then at least visit uh, the Melting Isles, maybe the Sea of Statues, and maybe come up along the coast to the bottom, or to the south, to get more port reports so we can not have to spend as much of our hard-earned echoes in the future for fuel. We see a light. Oh, what is this now? What is this? Oh, it's an albino moray. I don't think we have to deal with it right now.
Okay. Why can't I get... There we go. I'm trying to get out of combat mode for a while there. I guess he still had an eye on us. Another, another albino moray over there. Not really the scariest thing I could run into at Z anymore. I mean, it never was the scariest thing, but it was pretty scary not that long ago. We have entered a fog bank. Our gunners struggle to see our foe. A sluggish wave of the ship pitches. Okay. We haven't used up half our fuel yet, so I guess we used up quite a bit, though. Technically, because we bought more. Uh, let's slip between the fog banks if we can. Yes, I forgot to put the fog lights in. There's like a Simpsons quote for everything. If you've seen enough Simpsons, I guess. Uh, okay. Some swirling eddies of, I don't know, sand or something there. Come on, go up, Z-Bat. Okay, he did go out, I just didn't see it. What is happening here? Is it slowing us at all? Oh no, we're gonna head south here. And reach the... coast down there, wow. An electric shiver in the air. Storm is watching, the Zaylers would say. The killing, wax wind blows from the south. Engines labor, Zaylers cry out and fall. Okay. So it's from, like, Barchus? Seems to be slowing us significantly to be in here. Uh, not doing any damage and no sailors or Zaylers are dying yet, but... I'll keep that in mind next time I see something like this. Discovered Jack, a dandy stack. Jack and Andy stack. Okay. So slow going through here. I think we're almost out the other side. There we go. Back to full speed. So what are we saving for? Oh, of course it dies down now. What are we saving for next? I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'd like a new boat. New house might be a thing. We might just want to start making heirlooms to pass on to our heir, should we make one, have one. We should try and get married. Well, speaking of getting married, not that this has anything to do with getting married per se, but... We could speak with our new officer. Hello, what can I do for you? I have lists. Mm, that's a lot of supplies, so no, not right now. Uh, we have five secrets, so let's do one. Increase your iron. Excellent. That's at the top of my list. No, I mean, yes, I mean, oh my god, no. That, Captain, is going to cause explosions, although, hmm, now you mention it. Well, we'll have to find a port. And as they say, any port in a storm, or any port when you gotta end the episode, but I'm gonna head to, uh, Sea of Statues, the King Eater's Castle there. I don't know if that's a good idea, I can't remember that place clearly it can't be too bad though it's a port it's better than better than the Z that's for certain though I love being at Z we have entered the sea of statues giants gape at us King Eater Castle rises ahead where fools give up their future the waves are cluttered with Z rack like drowned hair drifting so we could I think maybe we'll head north and west from King Eater's Castle and try and explore the regions we haven't been to in that direction. People have been telling me about the eye and that it can exist, but I don't think we're going to find it. Could be wrong. Been wrong before. 
but I have a feeling it's not around, which would be too bad. Until next time, if you enjoyed it, please leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. This is Father of Two, signing off. Mm -hmm.